Suddenly, the Los Angeles Lakers head coaching vacancy just got really interesting really fast. And if this happens, it is going to have a humongous domino effect, not just on the NBA, but on college basketball as well. From the moment Darvin Ham was fired, all signs seemed to point to J.J. Redick being his replacement. I know briefly there was some grumblings that Rajon Rondo could be a name to watch, but those rumors were quickly brushed to the side, and it went back to Redick. However, this morning, a humongous news report was dropped that UConn head coach Dan Hurley has emerged not only as a candidate to watch, but a serious frontrunner for the job, to the point to where contract negotiations have begun. Mind you, this isn't Hurley's first rodeo with his name being floated out there for an opening. He was coveted by Kentucky to replace John Calipari, to where contract figures were thrown out there, and they weren't cheap. I mean, Kentucky offered Scott Drew $9 million to take the job, and Hurley's contract figure was obviously higher than that. Respect to Scott Drew, but they topped that figure. He said no. Word I'm hearing is this offer to Hurley is around the $100 million mark. It certainly is far surpassing what Monty Williams got by the Pistons last year. He would be the highest paid coach in NBA history far and away, and he would have a large amount of control over the Lakers organization. And if this is accurate, it's going to be very tough for him to turn down. Very tough. So, again, if he takes a job, this starts a humongous domino effect. Number one, obviously, it opens up the UConn job in the month of June. To say that is a premier job is an understatement. Somebody is getting their coach poached. And I'm not talking some local community college. I'm not talking Quinnipiac or Yale. Somebody's losing their coach to UConn. I mean, who wouldn't want to coach the back-to-back national champs? Who wouldn't want to coach a blue blood? And I dare anybody to come on here and tell me UConn's not a blue blood. They are. Okay. As for the Lakers, what does this mean for LeBron James's future? He's a free agent. Okay. And I know LeBron has tweeted he's fond of Dan Hurley's coaching style. But Hurley's coming into town if he takes his job with a fair amount of control. We know that LeBron is adamant that whoever gets him better attach Bronny to the equation. I will tell you there's no damn way in hell that Dan Hurley is going to be pressured into taking Bronny. Certainly not in the first round. Gets very interesting there. If Hurley takes a job, does he work out in the NBA? There are some things about him I like. I think obviously the X's and O's are there. The man can flat out coach. His style, I think, translates very well to the NBA level. However, he does have a prickly personality. He does, you know, he he can get abrasive. And I can see that wearing very thin, very fast. And I can see that rubbing people the wrong way. I mean, would it surprise me if Hurley is gone in two or three years? No, if he takes his job. I mean, and not just because that's the nature of the NBA. I mean, I just could see him wearing thin very fast there. And um, now would that, would that be awful for him? No, this, this contract is supposedly fully guaranteed. And that's a hell of a lot of coin to collect. And I know if it is guaranteed, it's not going to be like Darvin Ham. It's not going to be like the Suns with Frank Vogel or some of these other coaches. There's going to be real reluctance to fire him because that's a lot of money to hand out. There's a reason Monty Williams wasn't sent packing after 28 straight losses. In any other circumstance, in any other world, a coach is not going to lose 28 games in a row and retain their job. A coach probably ain't going to lose 14 and retain their job. But Monty Williams is still there after 28 straight losses. Why? Because he's got a fully guaranteed contract that pays him a hell of a lot of money. The Pistons didn't want to eat cost in one year. I know there's talks that they may fire him now because of uh, Trajan Langdon coming in in a new regime, but they're not going to fire him now. <laughs> not after one year. They don't want to lose that much money. So he will be secure for at least one or two years. Year three might be different because the buyout might mean not as much. But 
even if he does, doesn't work out, and then, you know, three years, they fire him. It's a lot of money to walk away with. And he's still young enough to where look, he gets candy, takes a year off. You know damn well. No less than a dozen college teams would line up with blank checks in hand to hire him. And we're not talking middle pack mid-majors. So this is interesting. It's very interesting to see how this turns out. Could it be a leverage ploy? Sure. Very much could be a leverage ploy. Do I think Hurley particularly wants to leave UConn? No. I mean, he's a New, he's a New Jersey guy. You know, he's close to his dad. And, you know, let's be honest, Mr. Hurley isn't getting any younger. You know, he's he's royalty in Storrs, Connecticut. He's royalty in the whole damn state. Okay, you could say he's practically royalty in the New England region. He goes to Los Angeles. That's a whole different world, especially in the Staples Center, where, you know, his rah-rah, what I did in UConn act, that, that don't mean shit there. Okay, What you did in college don't mean a damn thing. You're walking into the... You know, a, a building that Kobe, God rest his soul, built. Okay, you're walking into an organization that that had Kobe, that had that has LeBron. You know, for the time being, that had you know Magic Johnson, Wilt Chamberlain, um, you know Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, legend after legend after legend, all the titles. So what you did at UConn doesn't mean a damn thing. Is he going to want to deal with that? I don't know. The question is. If it is $100 million, can UConn even come within the same ballpark of that figure? It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I'm JP. Hope you're, hope you're having a good day.